Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolved. Now, earlier last week we talked about Mega Espeon, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Umbreon. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week I'll be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or I want a Mega Evolution for. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your own opinions in the comment section down below about what would you keep, what would you change, and etc. Etc. And at the end of every video, we'll be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Umbreon. Now, when I say this, it's true. I mean, Umbreon, out of all the evolutions, is the bulkiest evolution there is. Now, obviously, like I said in my Mega Espeon video, there are some evolutions that don't really necessarily need a Mega. But at the same time, if we do get a uh, Mega Evolution, no matter who, like which one get like gets a Mega Evolution first, whether it's Sylveon, Umbreon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, whatever the case may be, if we end up getting at least one Mega Evolution, all of them are going to be getting a Mega Evolution. It just makes sense. I mean, I can always just bring back what I said in my uh, Mega Espeon video, I believe, that... In X and Y, we got Mega Gardevoir, and then in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, we got uh, Mega Gallade, but it kind of made sense that we got a Mega Gallade because um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out, and Wally's Ace was a Gardevoir in the original Ruby and Sapphire, but then uh, in fourth gen, we got Gallade, which is the male evolution of Curlia, and you guys already know the rest of the story of what I'm actually talking about. So like I was saying, it's... Not that Umbreon doesn't need a Mega Evolution, nor does it actually need it. I'm kind of on defense on both sides, just because if it gets a Mega Evolution, it's going to be bulkier than it was as a regular Umbreon. I mean, that's just how it's going to be. So, at the same time, I would like to see what Mega Umbreon would look like, because I, I like out of all the evolutions. I think Umbreon is my favorite design. It's just so simple and it's not complex. I mean, I just love Umbreon's design. I mean, I know the King Nappy might hate it with the passion. I mean, because of what it does in battle. I mean, I get that. Heal Bell, Wish, Toxic, and like a stab move or something along the lines of that. But nonetheless, like I said, um, I love Umbreon's design. And I know that the design that I'm using for its mega evolution for this video isn't really... And nothing really changed for its design, but nonetheless, uh, I I want to talk about Mega Umbreon. So as you can tell from what I've done to its stats, I did increase everything but left its speed alone. I left its speed alone just for the simple fact that Umbreon's a bulky Pokemon, not supposed to be a very fast offensive Pokemon. So there's honestly no point in me actually increasing its speed nor decreasing its speed because honestly, leaving it at base 65 is actually pretty good. It's not fast. It's not slow. And also, uh, you can actually, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't want to actually give other stats more points if that makes sense. So I just left it alone as base 65. Now, uh, for its physical attack, I only increased it just f 5 points. <laughs> I mean, the only reason why I only increased it from base 65 to base 70 was just because I wanted to keep the aspect of foul play because Umbreon does get access to foul play and I believe the only way to get foul play on uh, Umbreon is to actually go to the move tutor in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and get foul play and also it is a transfer move if I'm not mistaken. I'm looking it up right now. Um, yeah, the only way you can get it is from actually going through the move tutor in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So, I want, like I said, to keep the complex, complex of actually having uh, foul play being an, a stab move and also just a move in general to use besides using like the combo with like Toxic, Wish, and Heal Bell. So, um, if you want to go with that kind of aspect, you can. Now, for its special attack, I know a lot of people are probably not going to agree with this, but I increased it from base 60 to base 105. Now, the only main reason why I increased it to base 105 is, like I said, for all the evolutions, I wanted them to have something in common. I wanted them to have their abilities be in common, and they all get access to Hyper Voice, and uh, I want... That move is such an amazing move to have on like a Pokemon that has an ability like Refrigerator, Pixelate, and 
increasing Umbreon's special attack to base 105 can be also a stab dark type move it can actually have for its last slot on the move set depending on what kind of Umbreon set you're going to be running because if I'm not mistaken Umbreon does get access to calm mind uh, no it does not so it's pretty much there just for uh, offensive power and also it hyper voice does will get a uh, 33 percent boost because of the ability because that's what all the abilities like refrigerate and pixelate do is that they actually give a 33 percent boost to from normal type moves turning into dark type moves and also put because it's stab as well it's going to be doing a lot of damage and that's the main reason why i actually made it to base 105 and somewhat of actually making it base 70 for its physical attack uh for its physical attack base 70 just a little bit of an increase because of foul play and also its special attack to base 105 depending if you want to run foul play and or hyper voice now for its physical defense i increased it from base 110 to base 130 and its special defense from base 130 to base 150 if you're not catching on from what i was doing for the evolutions um pokemon that or the evolutions that have like base 110 in physical defense i increased it to base 130 and for its special defense or for base 130 stats i increased it from base 130 to base 150 jolteon and espeon do have base stats like that and i kind of wanted to increase them the same i'm not sure if i did that for jolteon because i haven't been both recording um it's been a while since i've recorded so i really haven't looked at that specific video but nonetheless with base 130 uh physical defense and base 150 special defense this thing is just going to be eating up hits for days and with the base 150 in special defense and sylveon's like being a thing with pixelate or just fairy types being a thing it can actually potentially live or i should say it's most likely going to live like a hyper voice coming from a pixelate pokemon like sylveon or um just other like special type moves like bug buzz and moon blast i mean i can't really think of any super effective hits off the top of my head right now but those are just some examples and same thing for its physical defense being at base 130 it could potentially live like a play rough and x's or a close combat and so on and so forth i mean umbreon is the bulkiest out of evolution so i would expect it to actually be able to live decent hits that are super effective so that's why i increase its defenses like i would i wouldn't say sky high but they're really high that makes sense so as a regular umbreon it's base stats at 525 and with the mega evolution is going to be at 625 i say this for all the mega evolution videos i do for the evolutions they all have the exact same base stats so nothing's going to change now for its ability like i said i wanted all the evolutions to actually have something in common so i wanted them to have their abilities be in common and i already used this ability before and it's called sinister what sinister does is pretty much like pixelate and refrigerate and turns normal type moves into dark type moves so that's what i was saying with hyper voice um is that you can actually have a stab dark type move when you use a mega umbreon with the sinister ability for like a, a damaging move if you don't want to go with like the foul play set i mean there's different ways you can actually run a mega umbreon the what from what i've done to it what base 105 special attack you can use hyper voice um being stabbed dark move because of the sinister ability or if you don't want to use like its ability with like a normal type move you can go with uh, foul play and potentially if your opponent goes for like an intimidate foul play is going to be going or it's going to be doing a lot more damage than it would have without the intimidate so there's two ways you could run um umbreon or should i say there are other ways or other sets you can run if you want to go with like a physical move or a special move you have the option so that's what i wanted to do for its ability and that's what i kind of wanted to base umbreon around off of a little bit and for its typing i left it alone as dark there's honestly no reason for me to actually add on another typing for any of the evolutions because their typings obviously fit well with, uh, with each other and there's no reason for me to add on an extra typing so with that there is mega umbreon so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button also don't forget to comment and subscribe now it's been a while since i recorded the video so if i kind of stutter and kind of had like a blank mind when i was trying to, to discuss mega umbreon i do apologize i'm starting to get back into the swing of things because it's been about a week since i actually recorded because i both record so much i actually had to take a break from recording so i do apologize about that 
But anyways, um, what you guys have been waiting for, the next Pokemon we are going to be talking about, or should I say the next evolution we're going to be talking about, is Leafeon. So yes, we are going to be jumping up over to 4th Gen and talking about the 4th Gen evolutions. And the first one I wanted to talk about was Leafeon. So like I said on Friday, if I'm not mistaken, we are going to be talking about Mega Leafeon. So like I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. So this is Wife Boy for the win, and I'll catch you guys later.